This is Bull. He's the um, it's the first trim video we did on Patreon. This is um, probably uh, two trims since then. Uh, I'll, I'll have some stills included on this um, post. That's where his feet came from. But he had really high heels. He's a Rocky. He's in his mid twenties. He had really high heels. Um, and uh, mostly dead feet. So this is 16 months later, 15, 16 months later, where um, we got him in a fully live foot and his hooves conform to his coffin bone with his soft tissue engaged. So um, we're just gonna shoot a trim video. Uh, we've done all the feet on him. Uh, and uh, I think this might be the first Foot that we filmed if not it's the other one but he's got like bookend feet so it's kind of the same thing um, anyway if you look at this foot from a diff few different angles you can see how there's some there's some distortion present he breaks over yeah like I said I'll, I'll include the the condition the original condition of his feet in the post um, but you can see there's he breaks over slightly laterally um, he drags his toe a little bit there you can see that um, this this uh, heel quarter flares out more than uh, more than this is actually in good shape it's uh, a nice position where this one blows out a little bit so all of these things are inherent in his feet and if you look from the top you can see that that foot isn't even on if you come up here Claudia you can see that foot isn't even on the leg straight. So to try to make that a perfect foot would be a mistake. If you look from here, you can see that frog doesn't hang straight down. It's not plumb when I pick it up. That's how his leg is. So all I'm trying to do is get his hoof castle to grow in line with his leg bones and eventually straighten out his leg bones a little bit as much as they can be straightened out so this is where we're at with this foot right now and this is kind of a, a maintenance correction trim or because every trim in my opinion is a correction trim so he you can see his walls his wall his quarter walls are almost touching the ground here there's a, a sliver of space in there but if you look on the sole plane there's a there's room to 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 um trim that arch to bring that to the peripheral edge of the sole. Bull's out of hay, so he's... <laughs> um, so, but he's not, he's he's maintaining this on his own, and he's maintaining his heels on his own, so I'm not going to change that. Um, so, um, I'm going to go ahead and take this quarter down to the peripheral edge. look on the inside here on this side you'll see if you can see through there that that wall is making contact see it there and there's more of an arch on this side than this side but we're just gonna follow the I'm gonna follow the sole plane so same thing over here just following the peripheral edge of the sole Quarters aren't supposed to touch the ground. So I haven't changed his break over much. I've just given him a little more room over here to break over straight. He'll, he'll wear it crooked again. Each time it comes back, maybe it'll be a little more straight. So now if you look here, he's got some relief in the quarter, but it's not just for the sake of relief in the quarter. It's, um, if you look on this side, Got a nice functional arch now but he had it to begin with in the sole we just brought the, the wall kind of simulated wear there to get it in the wall and here i'm just bringing the, the frog into alignment with the heels but the heels have gotten a little bit out of shape so i'm going to shape the wall the heels up to follow the contour of the frog or the vice versa without really lowering the heels. We're trying to uh, 
level the, the foot, um, it's any different than what needs to be for his armature. And now I've got all the get a really hard frog trim I just take that tip right there that gives me a, a little soft place to dig my knife in and then I can pull right through instead of just skimming off the frog still take some control and hand strength but I'm trying to be conscious of how much frog I'm leaving as much as I am with what I'm taking because we're building that frog Built, building a live frog the last thing I'll do right here is show the concavity of that foot from at the widest that's the widest part of the foot and then you can see the quarter relief he has now What I'm doing right here is I'm matching that vein of the frog up with the quarter. Coming right through here. And I'm just skimming the toe right there. I'm not trimming that. I'm just skimming that. And knocking this edge down so that it matches this edge here. So that this line, that line, and this line all work together. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I'll end up with these nice straight lines. It looks like uh, it's kind of geometrical and maybe odd, but that's just his um, physiologically correct shape. That'll all grow back in with the organic shape again. pretty much maintaining his heels and his toe so all I've got to do is the quarters and then so now he's making that this isn't going to change much these three points um, just the leverage off the quarters I just took away so three points are waiting the horse so I'm not going to change these heels much I'm just going to roll them a little bit from the back and from the inside
and take the outer wall off. Three week like maintenance correction after probably like 15 or 16 months of corrections and that's exactly why this horse has been rideable throughout the entire process of correcting his feet Here's how I um, get started on a really hard frog. I just take that tip with the nippers. Once I get that started, then I can get into the soft stuff right there and then come up and, and get that edge of the frog. And then just follow that dry flaky stuff and skim it. I've actually left quite a bit of that frog on there. More material there. This is after a year uh, and a few months of corrections. So we've got it down to um, the hoof capsule matching the coffin bone shape. Um, uh, it could just, that can be improved more over the next few years. But uh, where we're at now, he um, uh, is comfortable because his hoof capsule is lined up with his with his uh, soft tissue and his um, coffin bone. So uh, anyway, I just want, just want to show you what a, a beautiful foot looks like, or a crooked foot looks like. It's it's beautiful. It's it's shaped to the inner structure. So um, um, this is horse uh, bull's been on a three week trim schedule for. Um, a year and and maybe three or four months so you can see how much his foot drifts to the inside there and there's not really much to trim here so we just have to keep it there um, and, and not let it get back out uh, uh, out of alignment so if I can keep it if I can keep him the straighter I can keep him moving the straighter I can get that foot over time so this is what it's uh, you're not gonna really be able to see the corrections here but I'm gonna I'll kind of go slow and the first thing I'm gonna do is get this stuff all in the back nice and soft get all the dead stuff off and smooth so he likes using the back of his foot because that's where it all starts is it with a heel first uh, impact so haven't changed I'm not gonna change the shape of his foot much I'm also not gonna like go with the with the flow on it either so then I'm just gonna define these heels as if he were wearing them himself all the way around the heel the inside too which is kind of hard to get to but I haven't changed the height of those heels okay now you can see this wall sticks up a little bit higher than this wall does right here. So it's not a big correction. And here, this is a little wider than this is here. So this side of the foot spreads from being loaded and this side of the foot stands up from not being loaded. So that's what's happening. So here, I took this one down. This one's already down. I'm gonna take this one in because it flares right there for him leaning on that side but there's no flare to take out on this side ok 
Okay, so that's a that's a three week corrective trim. And he's rideable immediately. But the rest of the corrections are gonna take two, three years of that to get his feet straighter. And it's in alignment with his bones. And it's in alignment, it's staying in alignment with his bones as his bones correct, as his alignment correct, right. <laughs> okay, this is Bull's left hind. It's basically a mirror image of his right hind. Um, this one will film a little bit differently. And I, and I won't explain everything because it's basically the same, only a, mirrored from the other foot and if you can get down more like that so whatever. That little, the edge of that central sulcus is laid over. I'm taking that inside, it's just a dead flap that I've taken off right there. And this side's getting squished over a little bit because the foot drifts out that way. So I'm just gonna come in here. Be real careful not to do what I just did right there or come up into here. you can see that white stuff in there that's just dead frog you want to stop when you get to the more opaque looking um, tissue there so that's just truing the frog up and keep the foot straight and there's a little bit of an edge right there still left right to the peripheral edge of the sole